Ruin is coming. Is it just me or does this guy kind of look like Zed from League of Legends? It's immediately the first thing I thought of. I thought of his mask just sitting right there. Guess we're queuing solos. Fuck it. But recently, Fortnite has just been in complete shambles, honestly. I'm kind of waiting for a game that I can play that uh, just isn't ultra popular, but still people want to watch. Is that, is that a thing? Probably not. I forgot that I have my gold trooper on, so everybody shoots me in the pregame to show me their uh, Fortnite dominance. I know, I cringe too. Back when Call of Duty was the biggest game that everybody was playing slash watching or whatever. Any of you guys have ever been in, you know, in any kind of gaming community, usually in that community, most of you guys care and support the current game that you guys are playing, right? You usually want what is best for the game just because, you know, that's what you're investing your time in and all that other shit. It completely makes sense. But here's the thing. When you're a game on the scale of Fortnite, and bad things and changes are made to the game. <laughs> See, back when I played Call of Duty and all this stupid shit was added, we kind of expected it. I, I don't know how else to explain it. We kind of expect Call of Duty to do dumb shit and just not really listen to us half the time. Or at least if they do listen to us, it just takes so long to the point to where just like nobody cares anymore. That's what it seems like happens anyway. It seems like uh, communities have just gotten, especially for Fortnite anyway, you guys, I guess I'm part of the community too, but looking at what I feel like from the outside as like a mainly COD player anyway that's what i enjoy the most i know laugh at me i already have to live with myself <laughs> Call of Duty community, I was used to basically just uh, hoping that certain things would happen, not liking certain things the way that they are, and I just kind of accept that, and that's just kind of how it went. But with the Fortnite community, Fortnite as a company, Fortnite made this huge change in all of the gaming shit where they just listened to people. They listened to people a ton, and everybody started, I guess, expecting it of them. They were expecting great updates basically every single time. Now, it obviously wasn't up to this ridiculous standard where it was just like, you know, people asked for absolutely anything and they would just add it. It wasn't that extreme. They would always try to do what was, quote, best for their game or at least what they're envisioning anyway. And it is their game so they can go and do whatever the fuck they want with it, right? I hate sounding like I'm sympathizing with, like, bigger companies and shit, but because I know people just then scream, oh, you're fucking, I don't know, sponsored or some shit like that. They're paying you to not trash their game or whatever or you making a living off of this game so you obviously just, just like, benefiting this underhandedly somehow or some shit like that. Past any of that shit, any conspiracy, anything where anyone can benefit, just as a person that plays the game and enjoys the game. In the Call of Duty community, we basically had to sit around and just hope certain things would change. But with Fortnite, because they listened so many times and made the adjustments in such a timely manner, now whenever they, you know, do anything that's wrong or anything not quickly enough, they get much, much, much more flack than you would think that they would usually get. Go in the rumble so I can concentrate a little bit more and not have to worry about this shit. Us as Call of Duty content creators and players and shit like that. Now, I am totally aware that a shit ton of people, whether they want to admit it or not, a shit ton of people that are currently in the Fortnite community came from the Call of Duty community. From, you know, little teams or bigger teams or they were trying for bigger teams at the time for Call of Duty and shit. Because at one point, it was just, you know, the biggest thing to do. If you weren't playing Call of Duty, you'd be playing something else that you were probably really fucking good at. It could be like CS, Overwatch, uh, Rainbow Six, shit like that. There are obviously other alternatives, okay? I feel bad because now it's expected of them. I'm kind of thinking of uh, as a gamer to a, a company relationship. Let's just say it's a relationship. Let's just say we're dating Fortnite, right? Fortnite has been nothing but, you know, good, really, ma mainly. I mean, yeah, obviously you got your bumps in the road here and there, but nothing to break up over, right? Nothing to make you stop. You love it. I mean, really, the only thing that they could possibly do that would make you want to just break up right then and there is to just not be Fortnite anymore, I guess, right? I mean, the game is still Fortnite. It was clear it was Fortnite for well over a year and a half before any of these changes, right? It's the fact that there was a change. So now that Fortnite changed up and they're not being as, you know, quote, perfect as a lot of people were trying to, you know, make them out to be. Now that Fortnite's not doing exactly as everybody's saying and they made changes. And obviously I would be pissed about the changes if I was a pro player. Well, I mean, they are entitled to change the game to however they want, right? But... <laughs> They 
basically have done such a good job up to this point to where now I feel bad because it's expected of them. And now whenever they make an update that is definitely, you know, something I would have loved as a Call of Duty, I would have loved to get updates that quickly. Otherwise, you know, our game would die. Hint, hint. Basically, at this point, even if they were making the perfect updates right now, it would only, it's only a matter of time until they just don't do a good enough job and everybody just tears them apart. It's just, it just happens with every game. So now each and every single time that Fortnite tweets anything that has anything to do with not reverting and not talking about the whole uh, stretch resolution deal or native or whatever the fuck. Every single reply, no matter what they do, either says revert or that the game is dying and it's over and you guys are fucking idiots and blah 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 saying all this shit. I was somebody that made a lot of uh, angry videos at uh, gaming companies and shit when I was uh, a bit younger. I'll tell you right now, that's probably not the path to go down. It's really not. I mean, sure, yeah, you can express the fact that you're just unhappy with it. Yeah, that's fine, whatever. But, uh, yeah, just not the way that I did it. I made, like, a whole video just, like, talking shit, just saying shit. It wasn't good. It's not good at all. For as long as I can remember at this point, Call of Duty was just never really doing a good job. <laughs> or at least I've been conditioned to feel that way now, so I'm assuming this is how people are starting to feel about Fortnite, where they're just like, man, you guys can't do anything right, don't know what you're doing, and people are coming up with, like, these crazy conspiracies as to why they're not listening and doing exactly as everybody was saying, as they have been for the past year and a half, two years, whatever. I just, I feel bad, because they really don't even need to listen. I mean, to be straight up, they don't need to. And the reason I'm saying that like that is because, I mean, shit. Call of Duty didn't, they don't give a fuck. Like, well, that's exactly why Fortnite is more successful than Call of Duty. It's like, yeah, you're right, but, like, it's only a matter of time. All of the requests, all the expectations just end up being too much. And I'm not even saying that at this point that you guys are just, like, complaining for absolutely no reason. I can totally understand if you're, like, a fucking pro player and you're pissed off about the whole native res chain. You guys are gonna end up competing in a tournament that is just... Honestly, it's way too much fucking money. <laughs> and that's exactly why people feel so, you know, extreme about it. I get that. Actual pro players have every right. Fine. But as far as the rest of you guys that are just playing on, you know, stretch res and shit like that, I mean, how many people actually even make it into these tournaments? It's obviously like 100 players, right? And I'm sure that there's more than 100 people that use stretch res. So there's a lot of you guys that are angry about this whole resolution thing. I guess because the game doesn't feel as good or, you know, you got used to, you know, trying to play this way. That gives you this, you know, I, I guess people do the whole stretch res thing because they get more vertical field of view and they get more frames and shit. I mean, my frames are usually good. I'm capped at 240. I know that you get better performance when you do stretch just because, you know, less pixels to display and shit like that, but the response seems a little extreme for the majority of the people considering I'm sure most of you guys are not going to be in this massive tournament before because that's where I think they really fucked up. They should not do this whole uh, native resolution thing right before the biggest tournament that they've ever had. They also said on multiple occasions that they don't want to, you know, make any massive changes before any tournaments, but this is a much bigger change than they're assuming. And, and I mean, if they want people to play the game a certain way, and that's native resolution, it's completely understandable. I have yet to ever actually play any game in stretch resolution besides whatever the native resolution is. Not in CSGO, I mean, to be fair, I'm not good at CSGO or anything, but not on CSGO, not on Fortnite, not on shit. I don't know what other games uh, play stretch, but I've never played on stretch for any reason. All I'm saying is I'm just happy I never switched. I contemplated switching a couple times, but you know, you have to go into the game files and modify things in order to even get the game to even be and act and look that way. I always felt like if I had to go into game files and change certain things, they probably don't want me to be playing the game that way. I'm just saying. I was never really much of a modder or a cheater or anything like that on any game. So like, I'm just saying if you have to go into game files in order to change shit, it's probably because they were not intending you to play the game in that certain way. Probably because it gives you an advantage. I feel like if everybody was able to, I guess, have the choice in the sense of it just being like a, a selection or like a field of view slider or what have ever been an issue to begin with. So anyway, native looks much better in my opinion. I mean, as far as streams go, it's like the weirdest thing ever as a viewer, especially as a new viewer. I'm sure it'd be weird to try to understand and comprehend, I guess, as to how and why people's uh, streams all look like they're being played on a Game Boy Advance and shit. Other people's streams just end up looking much better than other people's and then your eyes are all fucked up and shit. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if people that were playing stretch resolution this entire time actually have some sort of fucked up eye condition. And this isn't as simple as, oh, I'm used to seeing my character's ass at like 42 inches, now it's 40. For all of you pros out there that are pissed off about this, completely understandable. Everybody else, I mean, I have to shrug my shoulders at it. I mean, as far as siphon being removed, I mean, that is completely understandable to be pissed off about because I think that was a great addition to the game. I mean, again, it's their game. If they want to do whatever they want with it, then go ahead. Yeah, people are just angry. I, I, I don't know. They're, they're just, every single little thing that Fortnite does and says, it just gets absolutely shit on now. It, 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 like, it just seems like if they're just not going to change any of it, instead of, like, people 
people accepting it. They're just, they're just angry as fuck about it. And I get it. I understand that pretty much worked with Fortnite, you know, for all of this time. I mean, why not just keep annoying the fuck out of them and screaming at them and saying exactly what you want repeatedly over and over and over again until they change it? We've done that in the Call of Duty community, but then got no responses for like months and months and months. And you guys are much larger and have, uh, it seems like more of a passion at this point. I'm sure you guys can just keep on going. It's just, I kind of feel bad. This is just, it's a bad look, honestly. I wouldn't be surprised if there are people out there that have never played Fortnite before or haven't played in a long time and then they just go and look over at the Twitter and look at all these changes and all the backlash and shit like that. I wonder if this makes people want to come back or just not play. I just can't imagine anybody trying to start playing the game today in the midst of all of that. If you just stay in native, you wouldn't have had to worry about shit. Easy for me to say now that the changes are coming through. I'm sure a lot of you guys didn't think any change would come through to force you to have to play a certain way, but especially as a pro player, you might have had to think it through a little bit more. Or at least you knew this day was coming to some degree, so I'm sure, I mean, you're a fucking pro player, right? You got it. You're a pro after all. Like, I've seen some ridiculous resolutions out there. Some resolutions that look like people's phone numbers. Like, I've seen people that use their social security number as a resolution. Now, everybody will be on an even playing field. No one's seeing higher or lower than anybody. Yeah, sure, fine. Maybe the camera is naturally too close to the character to begin with in a game like this. Yes, I get it. But if that's the way they want the game to be played, there's fuck all we can do about it, right? I completely understand it. The whole thing's a fucking mess, honestly. This whole community with everybody just being so angry that Epic can't fucking say or do anything without people. See, even my ghoul trooper can't even stay awake playing this shit anymore. They just want the game to be played that certain way. And if there is some sort of underhanded reason that they're not saying, I can't imagine that it's too malicious. So yeah, try not to lose sleep over this shit. I mean, it's just, I just feel bad just watching him get praised all this time. They go from getting prostate massages each and every single day like kings down to some servant that gets spit on and kicked every time they say the wrong thing at this point. So I just feel bad. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section anyway. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. My most recent videos are popping up on the screen here. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, it's been Jeb, guys. Later. <laughs>